Configuring and applying a custom default profile for users when imaging computers has gotten a little tricky since Windows 10, but luckily there are different options to achieve what you want in this regard. Hi, I'm Jeff, Amazon Prime member and lead of our support team here at Smart Deploy. Today, let's look at some of the common things people want set or customized on user profiles and how to do them without the copy profile method. Check out the links in the description below for some helpful guides too. The old classic default profile method was booting your reference machine into auto mode with the copy profile switch enabled. Then you'd customize away and then get on with imaging. But as you may have noticed, this method isn't reliable with Windows 10. The most common customization may be the start menu and taskbar. If this is all that you're after, then you're in luck. All you need to do is log on to your reference machine, set the start menu to look the way that you want, and then use this PowerShell command to export an XML file and save it into this folder. If you want to customize the pen tiles and the taskbar, you'd add some information to that same XML file. Then you can test it simply by creating a new local user to log on as and test to make sure it looks the way that you want. Now one last tip here, when you're done with the custom XML, give it an open with Internet Explorer. If the window is totally blank, then you know that there's a problem with your XML. Another one is shortcuts and other files you want present in places like the desktop or documents. This is as easy as copying those files to the corresponding folder in the hidden directory c colon backslash users backslash default. You'll see the desktop documents and favorites and etc that you're after to put those files you want users to have by default. A less common one, but perhaps important, is application defaults. Now, like the start menu customization, you'll want to see the link in the description below for detailed steps, but you'll set the application defaults as desired on your reference machine, run this command to export an XML file, and use a script to run an import command, which will parse that XML and set your default apps post deployment. And lastly, the desktop background image. I've always preferred using group policy to set this, because it's easier to change if you need to and reinforce should it be changed to something else. If you're unfamiliar with group policy, we have a link below for configuring stuff like that too. So there you have it. Pretty easy ways to set some default profile details without having to deal with copy profile in sysprep audit mode. I hope this was helpful to you. Please feel free to leave any questions for me or you can reach out to Smart Deploy support if you're having any trouble with these settings and your deployments with us. And I will love you forever if you subscribe and I will see you later.